So one of the questions that I often get asked is what is top dressing and why do I want to use it? Well, there are a lot of different top dressings that you can use and there are a lot of benefits. So I'm going to show you a couple different types of top dressing. So what we mean by top dressing is it's just a thin layer that goes on the top of your planter pot. So um, another misconception is that it's only for cactus. And I'm going to show you some other top dressings that are meant for aeroids and other types of plants. This is going to help with moisture retention for your soil, especially if you have a terracotta pot like this. Um, it's going to help with uh, keeping preventing pests from getting in there because a lot of types of pests will lay their eggs in the soil and they need access to it. So if they can't access it, then you won't have that problem. I have never, ever, ever, ever had a problem with fungus gnats ever because they need, um, well, because I we make our own soil and it doesn't have gnat dormant eggs in it. And also they wouldn't even think about it because um, we, we top dress our, our plants here. So um, so this cactus here, it's just got very small pebbles. This one, with ones that are a heavier density and weight, you want to reserve those for your cacti and um, succulents that have uh, uh, shallow root systems, they're slower growers. Um, you don't want to do something heavy like this with an aeroid plant like a philodendron or a pothos or monstera because their roots, they need to be able to um, kind of dig and go through that soil. And then this one's really cool. So here is a, this is a little Hoya compacta. And you can see there I top dressed it. And this is called calcined clay. So it's a type of lightweight clay. They use it in bonsai soil. Um, I use it in some of my succulent mix that we make. And um, that is a nice lightweight top dressing. It still um, allows this plant to grow freely. It doesn't have the same weight as the, the pebbles. And even cooler, when you water it, it turns dark like that. So if you're thinking, oh, did I water it earlier today? Did not, did I, did I not? This is a great top dressing because succulents like, like these guys, like these Hoya, you have to be very, very careful about overwatering. Two key things, you wanna pot them in the soil bar uh, succulent mix or cacti mix, and then top dress with this. And that will be your recipe for success, I guarantee it. And then another type of top dressing, let's see that I use here, oh, here we go. This is a bird of paradise. And you can see here, it's got a layer of top dressing. And what this is, is fur bark. So fur bark is great for your aeroids and your plants that, you know, don't need a heavier weight or they won't like it. Like they, this guy needs plenty of, of um, oxygen and water getting to those roots and his root system is quite different in its development. So anything um, <clears throat> more substantial wouldn't be good for the plant. The reason specifically for fir bark is it's a very hard bark. It doesn't break down. Um, it's, it's, um, it also releases an amazing smell. I love it. It smells like, like a Veda hair salon products like it's it's the best um, and also <clears throat> with top dressings they just your plants will just look more finished in your home it looks pretty it looks presentable versus just bare dirt you know um, sticking up out of the pot so when um, considering top dressing I would say all top dressing everybody gets it <laughs> except for seedlings. So I will put a link in the description below. We'll make some listings on our Facebook Marketplace page, um, or it might be somewhere else if I, um, if I one day get my website going, it'll be there as well. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments or would like to see other types of videos on houseplants. And um, take care, guys. Happy holidays from the Soil Bar. Bye.